Tonight, taking the first steps onto the famous GAN train is a hazardous experience and further fears a dust problem will be created in Broken Hill. Disgraced and dissatisfied, that's how a group of elderly travellers feel after an embarrassing ordeal at the GAN railway stop on the outskirts of Port Pirie. Without access to a platform or elevated step, passengers had no choice than to stack their own suitcases to hop on board. Question is, who's responsible for maintaining the area? Twelve days ago, this group of locals set out for a trip of a lifetime, but were dealt an unexpected blow just moments before setting foot on their luxury carriage. When I saw the train pull up, I knew I would not be able to step up onto it, so I got my husband to pull the case back and put it down so I could climb up onto the train. And then the gravel, we had to wheel our cases, about eight or nine carriages, along that big rough stone. Coonamaya station hasn't got a platform nor does it have a paved walkway but it's used by the GAN to pick up and drop off passengers some of whom are forking out four thousand dollars for a return ticket. Well it's shocking the conditions out here. The cattle have got nearly as good as this. Town Piri size it should be better. When the train rolled in this morning, passengers were treated to a makeshift platform, this tiny step. The GAN says it's not responsible for rail and terminal maintenance. It just pays the Australian Rail Track Corporation to use the line. But the ARTC is also claiming zero responsibility. It's passed the buck onto the state government. Southern Cross News today left several messages with the Department of Transport, but is yet to hear back. While the maintenance issue remains up in the air, at least our travellers have returned with more positive memories than bad. Oh, I had a fabulous time. Catherine Gorge was wonderful. Kakadu was marvellous. Go there, everybody. Residents of The mystery behind Coonamaya railway station prevails. Who's actually liable for passengers as they board and depart trains? The state government and Great Southern Railway have been handballing the issue after a group of elderly travellers were forced to stack their own suitcases to hop on board. All it takes is one fall and the question of who's liable quickly comes up. Following last week's report on Southern Cross News, the state government since wiped its hands clean, suggesting it's a matter for Great Southern Railway. But today, no one from the company was able to provide answers. They were, however, open to suggestions on improving access for passengers at Coonamaya, including transportable steps and handrails that can be wheeled up to the carriage at any time. We're always looking to improve the comfort for our guests um, for you know, enlightening and getting off the plane and, and all service areas. So um, if there's other options that are, you know, are better than the ones we're currently offering, yes, we could consider anything. Currently, this is all that's offered to passengers, which isn't much considering a return ticket on the GAN can cost up to $4,000. And what if you're disabled? Try Adelaide or Port Augusta, says GSR. Each of the um, towns that we go through, um, it's really reliant, I guess, on the various councils or government bodies to you know, provide the infrastructures and, um, of platforms or you know, train stations. And I guess that would all be warranted on you know, guest numbers that are travelling through that area. The Department of Transport says on average one to two people use the Coonamaya station on a weekly basis, not enough to justify a platform. A rapidly